versus Wolf. Now, Wolf. what are your thoughts on this matchup? Um, <laughs> it's funny because I feel like this is a matchup that you could actually see at Xeno almost commonly. We have multiple Zeldas, multiple Wolves. Um, so it's one of those matchups where, like, if the Wolf doesn't break Zelda's zone, he can kind of get walled out. But once he breaks, he kind of, Zelda kind of get ran over, right? She's not one of those characters that has great agile options. Takes her while to set up her, set up her zone. And, you know, kind of lacking when it comes to jabs, but, you know. Yeah. See what, see what happens here. And I mean, of course, Wolf does have a reflector. Um, which, can he hold the reflector after he reflects? Like, can he re Because yeah. Zelda can always reflect it back, right? Yeah. If, you know, far away enough. But can he just hold that reflector and reflect it back yeah, no, to the back? Could, yeah, no, he can definitely hold the reflector. That's definitely a thing. Ooh, um, the timing on that getup was so good, actually getting through that. And this is really big, possibly, for, uh, for Lai. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and that and that was great uh, space to come out from Bolero, right? Because um, Zelda's forward smash is a very meaty move, and what people like to do in that situation is try to get up attack because it has invincibility. And he knew that, and he spaced right outside the get up attack range to punish him. Oh, I like that B reverse. Meiru's love just getting a little bit of tricky movement in there, and it seems like that was. I mean, it led to about 25%. And considering he's already a stock ahead, yeah. that damage really works out well for him. Uh, yeah, and you see Lai right now, he's getting caught by that a lot, you know, just waiting for Zelda to come up the ledge with the aerial, and he's, you know, staggering it with the neutral in the Nairus low. And this time the aerial actually came out, and Lai probably wasn't expecting it. Oh, another one of those forward tilts. It's putting in a lot of work for Lai, but it's not getting kills, and that's kind of where he needs to be right now. He needs to be thinking about how he's going to end the Zelda stock. 158%, not only, like, that's a so much rage. And Zelda's a character that you absolutely don't want to have rage. Yeah, it's funny because it looks like he's kind of getting Wi Fi'd out, right? Because, like, he's doing a lot of. Um, Blower's doing a lot of these spot dodges, spot dodge cancels into neutral Bs, which he finally got punished for with the dash attack at 200%. Pretty much, now, another thing I'd say is that uh, Lai is playing a little bit too scared. Yeah. You know, there were quite. As you saw right there, he did this dash in, dash out, and he actually beautifully outspaced it, but he didn't pull the trigger. Uh, in general, oh no. Recovered on the slant, that happens. That's super unfortunate for Bolero. Uh, that, as we were saying before, the reflectors thing, but that is the risk involved that Zelda can move freely. That's a death? Oh, beautiful air dodge, keeping himself alive. Yeah, and great recovery coming out from Lai. Um, and one thing that has changed in the middle of this game, that Lai has, you know, slowed it down a little bit. You saw him getting hit by a lot of Nero's up. A lot of these um, traps that Bolero is going for, but you know, just to slow it down a little bit and see what you're looking at, uh, worked in wonders. All right, I like this spacing now. He realizes that, in a way, uh, Bolero is the aggressor, where Bolero is the one throwing out these moves. And so he's just like staying a little bit farther away, waiting for those moves to come out, and then using Wolf's long hitboxes to actually punish them. Yeah. Uh, forward throw isn't going to be enough, but 154% is real scary. He out meant to avoid that. Uh, that Nehru's love, and now he is alive and kicking. Uh, but once again, you have to be careful. Uh, Zelda can just grab you out of any reflector shenanigans you're trying to pull on her. Yeah, relying a little bit too much on the reflector when, you know, there is a moving option. You can get out the way. And, um, but right now, Lai, you know, just with his patience, just waiting for Bolero to make the first move is really proving its worth. Now, one thing we haven't really seen yet is an actual edge guard. There's been lots of ledge trapping, really good ledge trapping from Bolero, but going off stage and actually messing with Wolf like that, uh, that's something we haven't really seen, and it's something that definitely he has to be scared of. Right now, he has no jump. Yeah, and he's... Oh, okay, so Ooh, really, really, really good recovery trying. from Lai, actually. Keeping him totally out of the woods. Yeah, and and there you as go. I say it, right there, yeah. finally, that Nehru's love, the intangibility of it, able to beat out the uh, Wolf up here. Yeah, and he went for that a couple times, actually, and he, he, uh, he ne just nearly missed all those attempts, but this time, you know, right on the money, and um, caught him out of his jump and couldn't recover. So, good stuff by Bolero. Uh, you know, after the SD, it was looking pretty bleak for him. And keep in mind, Bolero did pretty well. Uh, it was last stock, but he SD'd at a super low percent. Oh, yeah. So I think that there are some real adjustments that need to be made on Lai's part. For I think the biggest one, at least just looking at it on a basic level, he needs to take his punishes more. Uh, yeah. It's like, yes, you're uh, if you're not familiar with Zelda, you're super unsure of when she's actually vulnerable and that that Nehru's love is scary. But if you're going, if Zelda like throws out a move and whiffs it, you know, when you are not actually there to punish it, that's as bad as getting hit. Yeah. Like, you had the actual, you outplayed them in the neutral. So, 
if you're too nervous on to like actually pull the trigger on things, it's you're of course you're not gonna win. Yeah, I mean, it just seems like you know Bolero's getting away with a lot of stuff that um probably shouldn't be getting away with, and it just seems like Lai is just unsure of the timing. And you know, just like that, you know, Nehru's love into a bait into a forward air punish, and like you know, he's, that's pretty much what he's been doing the whole set. Oh, right there. I, I like that there's a lot more shielding going on from Lai this time. He's doing run-up shield. He's sort of waiting for just Belair to throw out these moves. And not only that, he's holding it. Like, a, oh, right as I say that, he actually jumps out of the shield, gets super caught by that. And this, he's in a really bad spot, and Fulwood yeah. Smash is going to take it. And what Belair keeps going for there is that he's trying to go for the Trump um, into the Phantom. Um, if Lai recovers low, and he hasn't gotten hit by it yet, but, you know, the attempt is there, and it's really proving him... <laughs> Really well, gotten that kill. Oh, so, Bolero has done that late Nehru's loves get back on stage a lot. Uh, and it's been working a lot. So, I, th I mean, it's, it's one thing, it could be a conditioning thing where he's like, okay, get yeah. really comfortable doing that because when it matters the most, I'm gonna take your stock from it. Yeah, and you know, with that being said, you know, Lai just waiting a little bit and getting that forward to punish, you know. Uh, maybe get a little bit of momentum going into this next stock because uh, if pace keeps going this way, you know, Bolero's gonna take it. That's another forward smash, and yeah, he's not able to save himself, and that's just pretty much an entire stock lead. It might even turn into more. One hit from Zelda at low percents just racks up to massive amounts of damage against Wolf. Yeah, and you, and you see right now, Lai is just standing on the other side of the stage. He's just like, okay, you know, I understand what you're going to do. And that's, ooh, that's actually safe for sure. But, um, yeah, he's just trying to take his time now. He knows that he's down. He knows that, you know, he, he just wants a little, some time to think. I'm actually really liking his spacing. He's staying, up until that hit, he was staying just outside of uh, Valera's range. But once again, even when he would throw out these moves, he wasn't actually positioning himself quite well enough to punish for it. Uh, which was actually, I would say, really good timing for Bolero. That he's recognizing when he can throw out these moves and just not get punished for them. Yeah, yeah and Bolero right now, you know, just controlling the pace, man. Because, like, every time... Lai gets a hit, he's not really getting the fobs that he should. Oh, and that's going to be it. The elevator. Oh, yeah. Okay. The elevator to finish it all off. I love that move so much. It's so cool. Just zip him up to the heavens and just absolutely obliterate. Yeah, and pretty good stuff by Valorant. A pretty consistent play. Um, but I have to go right now. I have to play my set. So. Rude. Haha. -ha.